Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Friday, so time for my fri- Friday review. This week's category was Let's Play a Game, and this week I chose As the Gods Will. So here's a brief trailer, and then I'll talk about it. Daruma Sanga! Koronda! Gire! ちゅちゅちゅちゅ。なんだよこれ。誰が止め神様僕の退屈を返してください。遊びといえば過去め過去めに決まってるだろう。やめろ。はあ。嘘つきやだれだ。ミフンバイ。エムサト。これは神が起こした革命だ。生き残ったやつが全死んだやつが悪。Introducing Freebird. All right, so that was a little trailer of As the Gods Will, and here's some photos from it. And as you can tell, it's a Japanese film. Uh, It is subtitled. So you just got to be in one of those moods to read what's going on. But regardless, it's still a really great movie. So there's the classroom. And of course, I am going to butcher these names because they're all Japanese. Uh, the director was Takakishi Miki. Uh, it was written by Manayuki Kanshi. Cancillo? <laughs> Cancillo? <laughs> I don't know how you say these names. Um, there's the cast. Uh, Shun Takahachi, Takahachi uh, is the main one there. Amaya Takaru um, was someone else who was in the game who basically was trying to survive himself. He played the challenges, but if someone couldn't participate in it like for each levels of the different gods of the challenge of the game that these students had to play um like maybe let's just say like five out of the seven could remain in it he would do whatever he could to cut someone off to kill them so he could live in the challenge he couldn't really be trusted um even though he was good at what he was doing and each challenge even though they were told what they had to do, there was always some sort of trick to it. And Sean, Sean, whatever his name, the main one, um, the second one there, played by Sota Fukushi, um, however you say it, um, he was pretty intelligent and found out ways to trick it. Uh, each god as well, uh, different students. He's saying how he has a boring life, and then one day... There's like the Duma God and the Cad on all the different gods, as you saw in the trailer that I showed. Um, that second challenge with the giant cat, like some of them were instructed to wear mice costumes. And Sean realized, or Shun uh, realized, that the cat was eating the ones who were dressed as mice first. And they had to like shoot a basket through the collar or the bell through the collar. Um, for that one, if they wanted to survive it to go on to the next game. Um, so once they were finishing off, he realized he was telling people to take the mice costume off. But then he could hear the cat talk as the mouse and he figured out what the deal was. Um, then they have to go through a stage where there's um, chosen as who's telling the truth about who. Um 
kick the can and there's a survivor of that. They have to draw straws and then they um, also it deals with luck and they don't know what's going on. There's just all these different levels and gods of all these challenges. As you can see, very bloody. Uh, each death, each game survive. Um, those who survive, it's just a handful by the end of it. Um, we don't really find out exactly what the whole deal is, but they may not be the only um, students that have been chosen to play these games from these gods, and that's why they're called God's Children. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Um, lots of really gory deaths in it. Uh, it's interesting. Um, the Japanese always come up with the craziest movies. So it's definitely one I um, recommend checking out. Uh, like I said, it does have subtitles, so if that bothers you, it may not be the movie for you. But if you want to watch something that's really bloody, really twisted, and the weirdest gods that you can imagine, uh, this is definitely one that you should check out. Alright, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.